so so combinational delay plus the launch clock network delay should be greater than the whole time plus the capture clock network delay so it should be something like this 1 plus 2 is the is the time at which it, it receives the edge plus the combinational delay and it should be greater than 1 plus 3 plus 4 when the capture flop receives the edge plus the processing time of the capture flop so it's it's a very simple equation compared to the previous ones that we have seen so what we'll do is next and so the, the 1 plus 2 will be calling it as delta 1 will be calling it as launch clock network delay and 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 1 plus 3 plus 4 will be calling as delta 2 which is capture clock network delay so skew now when we when we say about skew it's nothing but the launch clock network delay minus is capture clock network delay and that should be zero so that is that is basically what is what is skew about to so skew says that delta 1 minus delta 2 should be zero should be close to zero and if it is not there are problems will the, the problems are pretty obvious from here if you try to increase delta 2 even more by adding some buffers over here the ref, the right hand side of the equation grows the number at the right hand side of the equation grows even bigger we'll look into that in some in some time from now so the number on the right hand side go, grows even bigger and it, it becomes it becomes difficult for the left hand side to catch up with the right hand side so we'll look into the we'll look into this part of the, uh, the this part of the equation also